Hi class, we're going to just go over today, um, tonight what we did today um, when I taught you how to send out strings of characters, text in other words, to a black text window object which looks like a console screen. So we're going to do that now and we're going to have certain things. I'm going to open up a new document. Um, you can all get into Small Basic, create a new document. We'll start off with the program header as I taught you. The apostrophe goes in first. What do we call that? It's a comment. So that little symbol there that is just next to my flashing cursor, that's an apostrophe and it signals to the computer a comment. So we can just, the computer will ignore everything that's written um, and it's just for the people that are programming to look and inside the program and see why the program was written. So first of all, I'm going to put an author. You will do this for all your programs that you write. I won't be telling you this all the time. And here we put in the purpose of the program to provide details about myself. It helps to type. So I'm just going to put in a bit of a space so it makes it easier to read. Um, it's hard to read. For me, I find it hard when all the lines are all crashed up together next to each other. So here, now I'm talking to my, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. We'll just close that down. Back into, forget that, back into here. Um, I'm going to start off with bringing up the IntelliSense. And I want to select text window. And I'm going to tell it to write that line. Now this is the command that uses um, an extra when it, puts out the string, it then puts a new line character straight after that so that the next work that it will produce or put out onto the screen will um, be um, on the next line. So here we'll just do it here. Hello world, you know that that is a very significant statement in computing. It was the very first program that was ever written, the output of the very first program. Now I am dropping down to the next line. I'm going to pick up text window again, select it there. I'm going to pick up the right line and then we are going to say my name is, and I'll just spell that correctly, you can spell it correctly too, is, and I'll put in my name, you will put in your name. And there we now have two lines. Let's have a quick test of it. How's it going for us? How are you going to test it? You're going to run it. Now. Cool. So we should have something looking like that. Hello world, my name is Elizabeth Douglas. Now let's test out to see how that text window.write works when it's not using the right line but it's just using the right. So here let's pick up text window again, put in the dot. Now pick up write and we'll see what happens here. I, and I've got to put that in, sorry, I've got to put that in double quotes because it's telling the computer that here comes a string. Remember, a string is a um, is a number of of characters, letters, text. We would call it in Word. Text window dot write, and I am a. Hmm, now you're wondering what I'm going to write here. Let's say text window, and I'll do it again. Pick up right again, and I'm going to say teacher at Botany Down Secretary College, and I'll finish off that string, put it in the, the other side of the parentheses, and I will have now I put in two statements text window dot right I am a and another statement text window dot right teacher at BDSC. I'd like you for a second to make a prediction about. Those line seven and line six, how are they going to display when the program is running? I want you to make a prediction. If you look at right line, you see hello world, and then right line, my name is Elizabeth Douglas. They're on two separate lines. How will I am a teacher at BDSC display? Will it be on two lines or will it be on one? So let's go and have a look at it. We'll go and run it now. And we can see that it is put together there as all at one. I am a teacher at BDSC and because it was using a text window dot write, 
it means that there's no extra line put in after the last character, which was the C of BDSC. So it has allowed the program press any key to continue to butt right up to the C. So let's go and fix that. Let's go and put in a couple of spaces so we have some empty lines that press any key continue can be very clearly seen. So let's go and do that now. So I'm going to come down here. How are we going to put in extra lines? I can say text window and we will pick up right line and we can just do this. And then we'll put in another one and we'll pick up another one. The cool thing about Small Basic is that you, it does save a lot of work with the typing and it can predict what you're doing um, and gives you some suggestions of what you might want to do. So let's just have a look at how that runs. And here is the space that we're looking for. So that's a lot easier to read. Now what I'd like to see is that instead of this long name here, I'd like to see a special program name. Now we saw this when we did HTML and CSS and we used the title tag up in the head. Let's go and change this so it says personal details up here. So how are we going to do that? Coming into here, I'm going to say, again, it's a text window command. We're doing this to the text window. The object that we're doing this to is a text window. So that's what I'm talking about here. Now I pick up title and then I want to say it is, let's just put a wee bit of space so it's easier to read here, details about me. Now let's go and have a look to see. We should see that details about me shows up in the top. Now look at that there, if you can see that there, it's sitting there, details about me. So you should have sitting in front of you Details about me and the title, hello world, my name is, whatever your name is, I am a student at BDSC. Okay, so if you have achieved that, you will have achieved um, the ability to um, put out strings straight through to the console window, which is called a text window. It's a little black screen.